good morning to all so we shall uh, discuss about a uh, reversible process so it is a very important concept try to understand the concept properly so because uh, whenever we uh, whenever we will be coming across with uh, what uh, the competitive questions so their uh, explanation will be given so based upon thermodynamics so the questions will be in the form of an explanation you need to understand each and every formula to decide if it, if we are calculating something if they ask us to calculate any uh, what a physical quantity or any property if they ask us to calculate so at that time we need to understand the concept we need to understand it will be given as reversible process if it is reversible process then formula is different if it is irreversible process formula is different so likewise so we need to understand the concept so based upon the concept uh, so the conditions of pressure volume work everything is going to change so for that reason understanding the concept is very very important reversible process it is so let us consider a container it is filled with gas it is filled with the gas okay now so there is an there is an piston piston in the sense there is a lid lid with that a holder is there clear it is so it has been fixed we have fixed that one clear now so the same thing i am taking here the container in that a gas has been filled a gas has been filled here same thing the piston is there but it does it is not locked the uh, whatever the lid is there it is not locked the piston is frictionless we call that one as a frictionless piston that is nothing but it can move it can move easily without any uh, what a hindrance here the fixed uh, what, whatever the piston is there it is locked so that means that the volume is constant here the volume is uh, constant here it is not volume is not constant clear it is that is the uh, uh, first you need to understand uh, the basic things the volume is not constant here it is because the friction and the piston whatever is there it can easily move it can easily move so now if you observe it is a frictionless nothing but it can it is movable it is movable so the gas is putting some amount of pressure on the piston the gas is putting an upward force on the piston clear so the gas is putting some upward pressure on the upward force on the piston we call that pressure of gas as internal pressure we call that one as the internal pressure now so in the atmosphere in the surrounding in the surrounding atmospheric air is there atmospheric gas is there so let me write atmospheric air or atmospheric gases are present in the surrounding that atmospheric this is different frictionless piston that is different atmospheric gas is present in the surrounding this atmospheric gas is also putting an pressure on the piston and that atmospheric gas pressure is called as external pressure clear it is so an atmospheric air or atmospheric gas is putting a pressure on the piston in the opposite direction so that is called external pressure and the gas inside the cylinder is putting an pressure on the piston so that is called internal pressure now so we don't we have not fixed the piston piston is moving after some time when you when you keep any gas in the cylinder and you are keeping the lid above it so the it is moving little for uh, it is moving little uh, forward and backward and it got adjusted it got adjusted to itself and it is not moving anywhere now so i mean it is not moving upward also it is not moving downward also the position of the piston is fixed now so the position of the uh, what a piston is uh, at the same uh, level itself it is not moving up also it is not moving down also that means that external pressure is equals to internal pressure 
so we say that now it is at equilibrium the process or the gas is at equilibrium clear it is so it is at a equilibrium because so already it had put some pressure it is also it has the gas also put some pressure on the piston and now the forces are balanced now the pressure is balanced the pressure of the external gas becomes equal to the pressure of uh, the gas inside the cylinder that means that we say that the system is at equilibrium the system is at uh, equilibrium clear so this is the basic thing to understand irreversible process as well as reversible process i hope this is clear now next so we'll move on to reversible process what is the reversible process we shall understand same thing i have taken a container and i have filled some gas in it i have filled uh, some gas in it now on the piston we have a piston on the piston i have kept a plate in that plate i have added some sand particles i have kept some heap of sand some amount of sand on it clear followed so i have filled some gas in the cylinder and initially there was only atmospheric gas in the external pressure now we have external in the external pressure atmospheric gas is also there along with that sand is also there so sand as well as atmospheric gas or atmospheric air is responsible for external pressure clear and the gas the pressure of the gas is nothing but internal pressure now so we have a gas is also putting some pressure on it as well as sand as well as atmospheric pressure is also putting some pressure on it so now external pressure becomes equal to internal pressure that means that the system is at equilibrium the system is at equilibrium clear now so now what we are doing we are removing we are removing one of the sand particle we are removing this sand particle let us consider this sand particle we have removed what happens external pressure is external pressure is decreased this is the case one will consider external pressure decreases if external pressure decreases then what happens this gas is going to push that upward the gas which is present in the cylinder is going to push because it is less now external pressure is less we'll we'll write it in this way. external pressure is less than internal pressure then at that time what happened internal pressure is going to or gas is going to push that one outside if it pushes that one outside then piston had moved a slight because sand one sand particle is very smaller very very minute thing it is so that's why so what a, a very slight change in the pressure a very light amount of very small amount of movement of piston we can observe this is the piston i have written this is the piston clear it is that is that is nothing but a small amount of change in pressure has taken place small amount of pressure has taken change small amount of volume has changed so volume let us consider volume change will be v1 small change in the volume likewise small change in the pressure clear so when pressure has changed then to make it equal how we can write we can write the expression as external pressure is equal to external pressure is smaller so to make it equal external pressure is equals to internal pressure from that a small amount of pressure has to be removed to make external pressure and internal pressure equal internal pressure is more from the internal pressure a small amount of pressure if you remove that will become equal to external pressure why small amount because we have removed only one sand particle so that's why a small amount of pressure change is going to takes place 
clear the same way next time one more one more sand particle we are removing so we are removing now this sand particle we are removing clear one more sand particle we have removed so one more sand particle the piston has reached here now clear it is so that means that so volume change is v2 from v1 to v2 it is changed clear once again the same thing there is a slight change in the pressure so because of which the piston had moved so in whenever you remove one more i mean in the third step once again you are going to remove one more particle fourth step one more sand particle you are removing so in each step there is an slight change in the pressure external pressure is, is taking place and slight change in the volume it is taking place volume what is happening to volume of the gas volume of the gas is increasing so that is nothing but piston is moving upward that indicates that the process taking place is expansion volume is increasing that means that the volume occupied by the gas is increasing that in indicates that the process is expansion the gas is expanding the gas is expanding from here to here or from it is from a v initial v initial to v final it is increasing so on each step on each step of removal of sand the gas is getting expanded clear it is in each step the process if you check in the each step so the pressure whatever is there there is a very slight change in the pressure in each step this this is the condition in each step this is the condition in each step slight change in the pressure is going to takes place clear now so now if you check what uh, if at all if you check uh, uh, what are uh, the pressure expansion i mean the volume expansion so let us consider at this stage at this stage we have removed the fourth particle now if at all if you are keeping that back uh, that particle whatever you have removed the fourth particle we let, uh, let us think we have removed this particle and now again you are putting that one back again that one we are putting that one back that means that again from this point to the volume will be coming from this point to this point clear from this point to this point it is jumping or the piston is moving downward clear it is so when you replace when you reverse the process when you reverse that when you keep that back when you keep that fourth particle back again it is regaining its uh, original position clear likewise if you keep back all the four particles here if you keep back all the four particles here again it will come to v initial only again to this point only it is coming clear in each step the process can be reversed the process in each step the process can be reversed clear that is one point and the next point is so when when you remove a particle the volume is changing the pressure is changing external pressure is decreasing the piston is moving upward and uh, gas is getting little expanded after that what happens when when you remove a particle so when you remove a particle this is the initial uh, what a uh, initial uh, uh, position of piston when you remove a particle so the piston is moved here the piston is moved here clear if you put back that particle again this will move to here only again that is what called reversed you can reverse that one at any step at any step of the process or at any step of the uh, what a reaction you can reverse the reaction that is why it is called as a reversible process clear now so now one more thing so when you uh, when you have remove a part when you have removed a particle the gas is getting expanded and uh, what it got a new position it the piston got a new position the external pressure is there new external pressure likewise new internal pressure is also there that means that in each step 
there is an attainment of equilibrium equilibrium is restored or equilibrium is regained in each step you can tell equilibrium is restored in each step clear it is equilibrium is restored in each step so uh, what are the process at each step can be reversed the process can attain equilibrium at each step that is the important thing and uh, one more important thing is uh, so that is uh, uh, what uh, if at all if it is if it is considered if it is considered the forces the forces which are so it is an expansion we said that it is an expansion to expand the gas to expand so this force of the gas or the pressure of the gas is the driving force here two forces are acting two opposite forces are acting one is force of the the force what are the pressure put by the gas and the pressure put by the sand and atmospheric air the process is expansion if you consider process is expansion that means that the gas should expand if the gas should expand the driving force for that process the driving for, for, force for that process is force of a or pressure of a gas so pressure of a gas is called driving force driving force which leads to expansion clear so pressure of a sand or external pressure if you call so if that is more if force or the uh, piston the force on the piston due to sand if it is more then what happens the piston will move downward the piston is going to move downward if uh, what a force or the pressure of sand and atmospheric air is more then the piston will move downward if it moves downward then what process will takes place the process is going to take place is compression we call that one as a compression which is opposite of a expansion so that's why the pressure of sand and atmospheric gas is called as opposing force we call that one as a opposing force i hope it is clear two types of forces are acting in this system so one is uh, driving force because we have considered the process as expansion if driving force is more then the driving force is nothing but it is the pressure of gas so the the gas is going to put more pressure on the piston if it is more then more gas i mean the gas will be expanded more clear now so the pressure of sand and air if it is more then so the piston will be moving downward the piston will be moving this is the piston the piston will be moving downward because of which uh, the gas is getting compressed the gas is getting compressed so the compression is nothing but opposite of expansion so we can say that the force uh, which is uh, uh, which is uh, what, uh, which is responsible for compression is called as opposing force now so what is happening in this process reversible process and we said that it is expansion the process is expansion we said so if at all if we, if the expansion has to takes place then driving force should be more driving force should be greater than opposing force clear it is driving force should be more than the opposing force so driving force is greater than opposing force if driving force is more then piston will move upward and expansion will takes place that is what happening here that is what uh, the process is happening and the process we call that one as a reversible process it is it i mean it may not be always expansion only taking place we are discussing according to expansion it may be compression also compression how how we can define i mean how we can explain compression by taking uh, the example compression how we can do is so here we have taken we have taken a gas atmospheric gas is there we have kept uh, what a uh, flat surface on the piston each particle of sand we are placing when each particle of uh, what uh, sand we are keeping the piston is moving downward 
लाइक वाइज इन ईच स्टेप वी आर कीपिंग वन आफ्टर दि अदर वन आफ्टर दि अदर वन आफ्टर दि अदर ईच स्टेप वी आर कीपिंग सो इट इज मूविंग डाउनवर्ड एंड डाउनवर्ड clear if it is moving downward and downward then the process is called as uh, compression so in compression during compression so uh, what uh, the pressure of sand will be the driving force and the pressure of gas will be opposing force because the process taking place is compression clear it is if at all if you couldn't able to understand uh, this one once again i'll repeat so in each step let us consider this let us consider this one only so in each step we are keeping one one sand one sand particle at a time one sand particle at at one step we are keeping then piston is moving slight downward second one we kept again slight downward third one we kept again slight downward likewise the piston is moving downward and downward what is happening to gas volume of the volume occupied by the gas is decreasing in each step it is getting decreasing decreasing and decreasing it is decreasing so that is what called the process as compression if it is compression then so to compress the gas which is helping the pressure of external pressure is helping so that external pressure will become the driving force the external pressure will become driving force and the pressure of gas will become opposing force clear it is so based upon the process based upon the process so the things will change so here we have taken the example as expansion so opposing force will be the force of the sun and driving force will be the pressure of gas so always but remember this condition will remain constant whatever may be the thing the driving force will be always greater than opposing force in case of reversible process clear so what uh, but the thing is how much it is greater it is greater in an very smaller amount because in each step only a small amount of change is taking place only a small amount of change is taking place so that's why we can say that it is infinitesimally greater that is very small infinitesimally infinitesimally greater clear it is so how much it is greater it is the uh, what a uh, very small in a very small amount it is uh, greater i hope it is clear so this is about the reversible process definition we shall, we shall see definition is nothing but uh, so it is uh, uh, it is a very slow infinitesimally slower process and remember this process is an ideal process it is an ideal process it is just an imaginary process ideal process clear very slow change very slow change of uh, changes taking place in the process and ultimately will be reaching the final step with the numerous number of steps clear next we'll move on to irreversible process irreversible process same thing we have taken an uh, container a gas is filled this is our piston on the piston we have kept some sand we have kept some sand on it that is the external pressure so we know it is external pressure and the pressure of gas is nothing but it is internal pressure this is the initial state of the system let me write this is the initial state initial state where p external is equals to p internal that is nothing but the process is at equilibrium clear now so now what is happening now what we are doing is in the reversible process we have removed the gas part uh, we have removed the sand particle one by one we have removed the sand particle one by one but now we are not doing like that now what we are doing now we have removed the 
sand particle at a, at once we have removed all the sand particle at a time so whatever the sand was there at a time we have removed entire thing so that means that immediately piston from here down it has moved to upward it has moved to upward clear it is so what we have done in the reversible process we have a uh, removed each each particle at a time each particle at once at once we have removed only one particle but in the irreversible process all that sand particle whatever we have kept as a heap whatever we have kept here entire thing we have removed then what happened immediately the piston from down level it had reached up clear it is so that is nothing but we got immediate result we got immediate result this is our final state this is our final state here also same thing now we have removed that entire uh, entire uh, sand we have removed so because of which uh, external pressure is due to the atmospheric air and the pressure of uh, gas is there so here also same thing at this stage also piston is not moving down up and all so it is stable that means that the process here also it is at equilibrium here also it is at equilibrium and external pressure is equals to internal pressure but here external pressure and internal pressure internal pressure was due to gas and external pressure was due to uh, what a sand and uh, atmospheric air atmospheric air is very very less so we call that one as sand only let us consider we are, we are calling that one as sand only we have removed that entire atmospheric pressure i mean entire external pressure we have removed so we can say that here external pressure is not at all there it is zero sand we have removed entire thing we have removed so external pressure is zero so piston had moved outward it had moved outward it has reached the end to the maximum it has reached it has reached the maximum so here you can observe there is a gap but here it is it has reached the maximum clear so well we will not take this part okay so now but it is equilibrium it is at equilibrium now the piston is not moving because the atmospheric air is very very minute so that's why i have uh, not written this one it is it will be acting a, it will be putting a very minute amount so that's why i have not written that one but still we can consider piston is not at all moving external pressure is equals to internal pressure and the system is at equilibrium but in actual external pressure was due to sand also sand was sand was the major quantity which we have removed so external pressure becomes uh, zero here clear but still the process is at uh, equilibrium initial state is at equilibrium final state is at equilibrium no further process in between in between process is not there so it is only initial state and final state we got clear it is so there is no uh, what a step by step processes here it is an very fast process very spontaneous immediate spontaneous we can write so we can uh, we can add up here we'll write it here so the process is a spontaneous it is a spontaneous process we can see all natural processes are irreversible processes all natural processes are irreversible process so why it is irreversible is initial state it has reached i mean it was in initial state so if you remove all the sand particle it had reached to final state clear it is so no reversing in between in between there is no chance of reversing so from here to it had jumped over here so from this state to it had turned to this state no reversing is possible in between this one followed so that's why we name the process as irreversible process so the system and surrounding at equilibrium in the initial state the system and the surrounding is at equilibrium in the final state but not during the process during the process what had happened during the process whether it is in equilibrium no it is not at equilibrium during the process when we are when we have removed there was no equilibrium between them clear it is so the process what is the process gas from uh, uh, what uh, v1 this uh, vi this is the initial state and this is the final state from initial to final state 
so what is happening volume has increased if volume is increased then the process we can call as expansion we can call the process as expansion like earlier expansion has taken place which is the driving force driving forces gas of course the pressure of gas is a driving force pressure of gas is the driving force and pressure of a sand is the opposing force what had happened now driving force was more so that's why when you when you have removed the entire opposing force opposing force has become zero here that means the driving force is more because of which the gas has expanded so we can add a point here that is driving force is much greater driving force is a much greater much greater than opposing force much greater than opposing force there also driving force was greater than opposing force but it was in a very small amount in each step it was only a small amount but here it is not like that here it is uh, much greater than the opposing force it is so what a system and surrounding at equilibrium in the initial state final state but there it is in each step it was attaining equilibrium so there uh, the process was very slow it was infinitely slow process it is because step wise process it is so here it is a spontaneous process there it is an ideal process but here it is an na natural process we have somehow we have gathered all the points and we have uh, uh, discussed even uh, we have discussed our uh, what are differences also so but not completely few at least the concept is clear definitely we have not defined that yet uh, so we are going to define that one now itself uh, so but uh, the uh, what uh, uh, in our next video we'll define it so here we have done the concept we have understood the concept i hope the concept is clear